The Alan Brazil Cheltenham Breakfast. Live from the festival on Talk Sport. Walk up to Cheltenham feeling fine. Four days of racing and drinking wine. Socializing quite a bit more than I probably should. Oh yeah. Something tells me I'm on to something good. On to something the Alan Brazil Cheltenham Breakfast, live from the festival on Talk Sport. Good morning, five minutes after six o'clock, the impossible dream lives on. Penalty to Sevilla and Zonzi takes it, it's saved, saved by Casper Schmeichel. Welcome to the Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast with Ford and Mickey Quinn, live from the Coral Box. It's day two of Cheltenham. Five minutes after six o'clock. Well, there was no Rupert Bell taxis this morning, so I drove myself in, Quinny. <laughs> it was a pea super uh, uh, coming down the hill. Oh, yeah, dear. yeah. M- very misty, wasn't it? It really uh, was. It was, uh, it was like up a little bit. five mile an hour job. But uh, just just breaking daylight here at Azal. And uh, I've got to say, day one, uh, bookmakers benefit f- for me. I got out. I never lucky, get close. Never I got, got out close. the lucky last with Dennis O'Regan. Uh, I've seen Dennis as well just before the race. Um, give me, tip me the wink, and it won nine to one. So got out of oh, jail. Jammy, got jammy. out of jail. Well, I was told I had two tips. One was third, and the other I didn't do one. <laughs> apple shade. <laughs> yeah, apple yeah. shade. That one. So it's my own fault. But um, I watched Champion Hurdle from the coral box, and then phew, uh, exit because of the old chest and throat. I was in bed early. It's impressive, God. wasn't it? Boof, dear. Boof. Uh, bolted up the hill, oh. didn't he? Boof. And I was. I, couch told me thirty three to one. That's what I remember, yeah, 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 I remember you telling me. Oh, 33 yeah. to 1, I thought, Coach, you're having a laugh. Well, Nicky, he was laughing yesterday. <laughs> Nicky Anderson had the 1 2. My 10 to yours finished second. Well, he said that run a big race. Yeah, remember did. when all the JPs? I had a little. Uh, they done that with binocular. Little saver each way. Remember that? They, yeah. they give him a little change. Same scene. sort of. Uh, binocular, he came back and won it. And my 10 to yours, that's, is that three times second? Three times second, yeah. Been a um, what about Leicester last night? No, oh, I hold my hands oh, up. I was hands oh, up. I was in bed. Um, at a ruby money, boom, straight to bed. Well, I went and in, missed it. Can't believe in with it. Barman and Dave, DJ Ed, and uh, Oxby and Jacobs. We all watched a monumental win for Leicester City. I don't, I can't, words can't describe it. It's as big as probably the win in the Premier League last year, Al. Everybody wrote them off. They got that early goal, you know, 20 minutes into the game, the second one, and then they rode a bit of luck. Uh, Nasri got sent off. They missed a penalty, and then it was, you know, biting your nails. To- Bell joins us, Rupert, uh, looking very fresh, Rupert. And that means you were in bed early. You stayed in Cheltenham last night? I, I did, but um, I was in bed. Very romantic, was it? Or uh, No, uh, I went, we went, I met up with H&J, and, and, and uh, uh, the producer here, Mr. Out, Mr. Richards here, and uh, he was inspecting the inside of his eyelids, and... <laughs> He's not done it again. <laughs> He's not fallen asleep at the bar again. No, well, basically the steak arrived. A uh, little, little slow it was to get the steak. Uh, so I think basically he was thinking he wanted to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for you, Alan. You're Rupi, sweating, you're sweating up a bit of a storm this I'm, morning. I can't get rid it's of this well, infection. Well. Sorry, no, no, Rupi, Rupi, your hair looks magnificent, by the way. It's, it's coiffe hair. It's a perfection. He's had the hair dryer, hasn't he? <laughs> No, I haven't. I've just put a comb through it. I had a shower because I wanted to make sure. That's I thought, what's different. Yeah, you've had a shower. <laughs> That's what's yeah, different. Yeah, that was a nice smell. Uh, what about yesterday then? What was the highlights? Well, I think he'd do a great job yeah. if Sanchez left Arsenal. Mm. But why would he leave to go to a British club? You know, I mean, if he, if he wanted to go Barcelona and all that. I, I don't know. You know, I spoke to Andy and uh, Paul yesterday about, about the agents. What, Pinky and Perky? Yeah, yeah. about the agents. They said uh, he's all right. And I went, well, yeah, Evan fans are not going to think that. He said two weeks ago he was going to sign a contract. Now he doesn't want to sign a contract. So, Perky, Evan fans will be disappointed. Can, does, does Andy bump any things? He bump any doors and people and all that? I, I, was, <laughs> I was on, no, I tell you, I came out of talks for last week. And I was sitting on the bench on the phone. And I watched him walk down the street. He missed the curb. Then he stumbled <laughs> up the next curb. He might have had the wrong glasses. On. Oh, he, he, the milk bottles. We've seen them on the. And I'm like, yes, a little round. It's glasses. Mr. Magoo. <laughs> they didn't go form yesterday, and they're back one o'clock uh, this afternoon. Each uh, I was supposed to eat with them last night, but time was getting on a little bit, Alan. We're early kickoff. Oh, six you boys, with that. I'm with it. Poor me. I'm in bed, and you're going for steaks. 
Oh, yeah. But All on the expenses, Mind eh? you, getting out of here is an absolute nightmare. Six yeah, amazing football, isn't it? 732, the, the upturn in Leicester and Ted. What about that last night? <coughs> Yeah, unbelievable, Al. I mean, Excuse me, they in. are Leicester City creating history. Premier League last year, the disappointment of Ranieri going, couldn't win a Premier League match. Then all of a sudden, turn it round, two Premier League wins and a monumental yeah. win last night's Champions League. <laughs> you okay, Al? <laughs> it must be one of the best nights that Leicester have had for a long, long time. Oh, we talk far. about European football, don't we? We talk about Celtic Park, we talk about Anfield. But last night, Leicester, that was special. Nice to welcome, I'm amazed he's not down here, is ex-Leicester manager Martin O'Neill joins us now. Martin, good, good morning. morning. Martin. Hello, Al. You okay? I'm good. I've, I've got, I'm struggling with a bad chest at the moment. Uh, and it's, it's not getting any better, Martin. So I, I yeah. must admit, <laughs> I didn't see the whole game last night. You're listening to the Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast Show with me, Mick Quinn, coming live from the Coral Box ahead of day two at this year's Cheltenham Festival. Here are the big three stories you are waking up to. Let's do Manchester City 5, Monaco 3. It's a victory for Leicester. What a game this could be tonight. Oh. By the way, just let me remind you uh, who's through to the last eight. We have Real Madrid, Leicester City, Borussia Dortmund, Barcelona. Wow. We have Atletico Madrid or Bayer Leverkusen. We have Bayern Munich, Juventus. And we have Man City or Monaco, Quinny. Al, if this game lives up to the last game uh, at the Etihad, sensational. Pardon? Uh, 8.50 on Top Sport. <laughs> You're listening to the Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast with Mickey Quinn coming live from the Coral Box at this year's Cheltenham Festival, Day 2. Here's the, beef, the three big stories you're waking up to. Hi, Mickey. Good morning. How are you doing? Surprise. How's Cheltenham? Big surprise. Oh, yeah, Cheltenham's well. beautiful. Sun has burst through the clouds. Day 2. We have all the winners. Good. Can't ask for more. Good, man. I've been reading the newspapers. I've been checking Sky News. You've been behaving, which is uh, the very good news uh, that everybody wants to hear. Great stuff. Well done, guys. Um, Everton. Everton. It's at the Bellew fight. I've seen Floyd Mayweather being interviewed by Rio Ferdinand, and your name cropped up uh, in one of his previous fights. Uh, talked about the Conor McGregor, a possible fight. What, what, tell us, it, could that happen? Um, it, the more you hear about it, it, it seems to be possible. And with what's happening in boxing these days, guys, you know, how many times do you see fights at catch weights? And people not making weight, and yeah. you know, and the, you know, it's, it's. I think it's boxing's gonna. Daft. I mean, every time a boxer has gone into has given UFC a go, he's got flattened. And I'm, and I, to be honest with you, I can't see for the life of me. You know, I knew how hard it was to hit Mayweather. Oscar De La Hoya knew how hard it was to hit Mayweather. Canelo Alvarez couldn't lay a glove on Mayweather. Yeah. You know, and so I can't see Conor McGregor doing it. To be honest with you, I think. I, I think they're putting uh, putting the sport at risk. I really honestly do. Right, yeah, yeah. Honestly strong do. as that. Interesting. Then. Ricky, listen, good luck tonight, pal. I hope you do it tonight. I'm really looking My forward pleasure. to it. Thank My you. Pleasure. Cheers, Ricky. And tune in on ITV4, 8 o'clock tomorrow, where the big fish off. Talking about Vegas, Quinny. I'll never live it down. I went over there to see Ricky's fight with Mayweather. And um, this is my first time, first trip to Vegas. You know what it's like, you get a bit carried away in the Where plane. Where was you seated? You get there. I had ringside. Well, yeah, I, I had wow. ringside. I bet they cost a few quid. Well, I didn't pay. Someone gave me them, right? So I had ringside. The problem was, Quinny, I found the Bellagio piano bar. And by the time I finished there, to go for a shower, to get ready for the fight, <laughs> it was over. So you went all the way to Vegas, didn't even see the fight? No. <laughs> uh, Some let's man head, you are. Some let's man. head back out to the course now. <laughs> And hear more from my man. I lost my voice that night singing. <laughs> uh, back out the course now and hear more from our man Rupert Bell. Rupert, where the heck are you? Well, I'm down on the middle of the course here and I'm walking pretty quickly with Willie Mullins, who I'm hoping will be, Duvan will be running quicker than we're walking later on today. I hope so, he'll need to. <laughs> oh, yeah. How, Duvan though, how special is he? Well, he's doing everything. You know, he's done everything we've asked him. Uh, what more can we say? Keeping the fingers crossed that all goes well today. Um, obviously, we're walking out. This is very special coming out at Cheltenham as well. We all love coming out to see the horses. Um, when we see... Do you get nervous at this moment when you think, is my horse all right? 
Of course you do every morning, but, um, uh, you know, what, what a morning. Hey, a bit sunshine, fantastic horses here. Is Duvan the best horse you've trained? Potentially he could be. I mean, hard to get past Hurricane Fly. So, you know, when he's, when he's done what Hurricane Fly uh, did, uh, we'll talk about that. For Bell, they are getting the brush off from uh, Willie Mullins. <laughs> <laughs> totally out of what's, breath as well. What's he done, he will he? <laughs> hey, he's not. He, he wants to. He wants to. Uh, uh, not listen. too talkative. He's lovely, Willie Mullins. Though. I just Rupert think, yeah, clearly, uh, he's, he's he might have been a little bit on the defensive after yesterday. He didn't have a winner, did he? Yesterday. Yeah. Uh, usually, they have two or three winners the first day. Well, that was the last two years. That was Rupert's first question, which we didn't hear live. He said, oh, uh, right. "Willie, what's it like to go through day one and not have a winner, yeah. and not get close?" So he clearly had the. But well, Al Duvan, one of my favourite national horses. Uh, in training, uh, a joy. Go watch this fella jump fences. He's spectacular. He took the breath out of Rupert <laughs> Bell there, and that's for sure. Hope Ollie later on ITV is not. Got uh, more to say. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, ask better questions as well. <laughs> uh, coming up to quarter ten.